Jin Kang. She is a postdoc that um, started uh, last May um, looking at um, kind of what makes Clue an interesting program, what works and what can be improved. And so um, she's going to be able to share this with you today. Okay. Well, thank you, Audrey. <laughs> so hi, everyone. Um, you know, we are here um, at the last event of the symposium, and we thought the perfect way to, you know, conclude the celebration of Clue is by, you know, reflecting together on the success of the program, and also just reflecting together on what our Clue students and um, partners and faculty members have uh, their unique experiences and perspectives uh, they have experienced um, being in the program for the past six years. Okay. So um, here is our plan for the next um, you know, 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Um, first, I want to talk to you about how Clue has started uh, for those audience members who might not be familiar with Clue, but I highly doubt that's the case. And then I want to talk to you, oops, I want to talk to you about some important lessons that we learned um, from our conversations with the Clue students, faculty and partners. Um, so what each group liked about Clue and at the same time, what each group thought the program could have done better. And lastly, I want to open up the floor to all audiences, um, you know, Clue students, um, partners, Audrey, Sonia, Tamara, and everyone else um, to hear about your personal experiences and, you know, interesting stories that you have um, with the program. Okay. So it all started back in 2015. Um, on one hand, we have all these amazing, you know, ACI educators and scholars um, from Carleton University, Ontario Technology University, and Queen's University. And on the other hand, uh, we had these, you know, 33 industry and government partners. So these two groups, they wanted to create a training program that can best prepare HCI graduate students um, for careers in the field of UX. So with this overarching motivation uh, combined with uh, financial support from NSERC is how Clue came to be what it is today. So as some of you already know, um, Clue offers students with four training programs, uh, four training components, and each component has been specifically designed to train students on important UX technical and professional skills. So you know, through UX internships, um, as we have heard from uh, our students from Tuesday session and also from our Clue alumni, um, students, they get to work with leading UX experts from industry and government. And through workshops, um, students, they receive additional training on professional and technical skills. So for instance, students, they get to learn what it means to be an ethical researcher, and they learn about UX project management, as well as cross-cultural teamwork. And also through knowledge transfer, um, students, they get exposure um, to cutting edge HCI research topics, and they also get the opportunity to share their research and internship experiences at conferences and symposiums. And lastly, um, through short courses, our students get exposure to HCI topics that are outside of their disciplines so that they can become multidisciplinary researchers. So in the past six years, um, you know, we have had over 90 students who have come from really diverse disciplines. And some of you are looking at your photos on this slide. And you know, students, they have come from disciplines including cognitive science, HCI, industrial design and serious game, and also informational, information technology. And also in the past six years, we have offered 81 internships and we have worked with 42 partners um, who came from 28 different organizations. And you know, just looking at these numbers, um, you know, the number of students that we have had and also the number of industry and corporate partners that we have worked with, um, you know, I think that numbers themselves um, really tells us how successful Clue has been um, all these past six years. So in Clue, um, there are three main groups. We have students, partners, and faculty. 
And before you know, we say our final goodbyes to Clue, um, Audrey and I actually wanted to better understand um, each group's unique perspective and experience with the program. So that's why last year, 2020, um, I had the pleasure of meeting some of you to learn about your favorite things about Clue and also to hear about your you know, general thoughts on how the program could actually improve better to support um, all three important stakeholders. So for the next few minutes, um, I actually want to share with you some of the things that I learned um, by talking to each group. So when it comes to our CLUE students, um, you know, every single student um, mentioned that their internships were the best thing about the program. And I'm not really surprised by um, this result. And I actually want to share this one comment um, from a CLUE student who said, CLUE and internships um, were a godsend gift to me. So I hope that this comment um, you know, kind of gives you a sense of how much our students really appreciated their internship experience and also you know, their experience of working with our industry and government mentors. Um, actually, this point was expressed by um, you know, our CLU alumni just now, that internship you know, really allowed CLU students to apply HCI theories and methods and technologies um, to solve specific usability problems. And internship really helped them um, develop those skills, um, both hard and soft skills, that students would not have imagined developing from merely attending classes. So for instance, uh, you know, our students who interned as UX designers, they learned you know, how to manage their projects better, how to prioritize projects based on clients' deadlines. They also picked up on all these you know, cool collaboration tools, Slack, Zira, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Trello board. And they also realized the importance of you know, involving developers in the earlier stages of creating prototypes. And they also learned that creating low fidelity prototypes, it's, it's really good to quickly generate as many different creative ideas as possible. And for our students who interned as UX researcher, um, they realized um, the dependencies that exist within the team. Um, they you know, become experts in con conducting usability tests from planning a project to collecting data and reporting the results. And as Joanne mentioned, uh, you know, they were also exposed to agile working environment that emphasize on you know, transparency of each other's work progress. And you know, they also learn to communicate better, communicate um, their results better um, to multidisciplinary team members. So I hope that you are getting a clear message um, from me that internships gave our students really valuable hands-on and practical learning experience. So after their internships, um, students, they felt confident that they could go into a job that asked for UX design skills. And after their internships, they also felt like they got a little chance of what their future, they got a little taste of what their future would look like after graduation. And they also simply felt um, inspired um, to become UX designer after they graduate. So we have, you know, 47, so there are 47 students um, who have graduated, um, have, have graduated and among this, 47 students, um, 39 um, have made a successful transition to UX roles. And just focusing on those 39 graduates who are now UX professionals, um, we see that about half of their employ employers have connections to CLU. And you know, as we have just heard from our CLU alumni, um, you know, they're now working as you know, UX professionals at the organizations um, that they completed their internships at or um, at the organizations that have really close uh, long history connections to CLU. And from the program's perspective, I think um, that's really an amazing um, accomplishment. And I think the successful transition of our students from academia to the field of UX 
um, really gives us this extra confidence that KU has really prepared students well for their post-graduation um, career. So, so far I have mentioned um, all these positive things about the program, you know, what students liked about being in the program and et cetera. But now I'm going to talk to you about, you know, students, their general reflection on, you know, what was missing um, from Clue. So many students that I talked to, um, they mentioned that they wanted this intimate and close community um, connecting all Clue students. So we all know that Clue students, they come from you know, diverse disciplines. So unless you're taking the same classes or you're in the same research lab, um, students told me that they actually do not see each other that often. So, because, so in this sense, um, seminars, workshops, and short courses really gave them the opportunities um, to interact with each other. So prior to the pandemic, um, students really like to attend these events um, to engage in really fun side chit chats and ask other Clue students about their thesis progress and their plan after graduation. But beyond seminars and workshops, um, students actually wanted something more informal. So seminars, so according to some of the students, um, seminars and workshops were not enough to establish this close community of CLUE students because after spending two hours together at these events, uh, one student has actually mentioned that they go back to being complete strangers. Um, some students mentioned um, that CLUE students didn't communicate well with each other and they simply didn't know who exists in the program. So in addition to you know, wanting to feel connected to other CLU students, um, students actually also wanted to feel connected to their mentors. And this was especially true for students um, who completed internships during the pandemic. So some students, um, they struggled not because their work was hard, but because they worried that their mentors and their team members would not get to know them personally, and they worried about feeling like an outsider. And what really helped Clue students to feel connected was a daily check-in um, from their mentors and their teammates. So they really liked receiving daily check-in messages um, through Slack, and um, they really like getting really simple, like good morning and have a good day kind of messages. And they really like getting all sorts of informal messages um, just to keep the side conversation going. And those conversations um, that were not really related to work. So if I have to just give you a brief summary of what I've just said, um, CLU students, they wanted a community where international students um, can help each other to get used to Canadian culture. And they also wanted a community uh, where they can work on their research projects together and also get advice if they are ever stuck in writing a line of code. And they also wanted more frequent social gatherings um, to continuously share information about their internships and just general information about school. And lastly, um, CLUE students also expressed that they just um, wanted to get to know, know their mentors and team members better. So when it comes to our industry and government partners, um, one thing that our partners really enjoyed uh, from being part of CLUE was being a mentor to our students. So it seems that um, our partners' enjoyment actually came from two things. First, they enjoyed seeing students' learning journey. And also second, they enjoyed um, learning something new from our students. So for many partners, um, you know, seeing CLUE students applying their classroom knowledge to solve real usability problems and also seeing students I mean, really come through after being thrown into the fire was really personally gratifying and exciting. 
our partners were really excited uh, when students have you know, transformed into this whole different person. Um, as a someone who is now ready to work in a professional work environment, um, someone who can now communicate like a real UX professionals, um, someone who knows how to work with different deadlines and multiple projects. And also, um, they were just simply amazed by how students um, transformed into someone uh, who can actually help move their company forward. And in addition to their role as a mentor, um, our partners, they also learned something new um, from Clue students. And there was this term that constantly came up in my conversation with few partners, and that term is fresh. So students, they came to their internships with really exciting and fresh ideas. And partners, they expressed that they learned from Clue students about all sorts of cool technologies and really um, amazing research methods that they have never heard of. And students, they also brought fresh energy who always wanted to do cool things together as a team. And they brought this um, whole another level of energy to the office of a bunch of older people in the team. And students, they were also fresh um, because, they, because they never stopped questioning, why don't you do it this way? And why is it like that? And so all sorts of why questions um, really gave our partners the opportunity to reflect on their own research and design practice. So when partners, they reflected on what was missing from Clue, um, they mentioned that they wanted to get students feedback after their internships. So they wanted feedback um, so that they can improve their role as a mentor and also as the host organization for next incoming group of interns. So they wanted to know, um, you know questions such as, do we do a good job as the host? Um, the student value the projects that they worked on and also was my mentoring strategy uh, you know, effective to help them achieve um, their internship learning goals? So our partners, um, you know, they were constantly trying to define uh, what it means to be a good mentor. And they really wanted to get students feedback to expand their own understanding of what it means to be a good mentor. So for many of our partners, um, being a good mentor meant being empathetic to every student's personality and needs. And a good mentor is someone who encourages students to make mistakes and letting them figure things out. And they actually wanted the students to make a decision. And if it is the wrong decision at the end of the day, uh, mentors, um, they were really happy to actually work together to fix things with the students. And also a good mentor is someone who makes students to do new things and also someone uh, who appreciates their small wins and not just about their tangible um, big accomplishments. Last but not least, um, I will now share with you about Clue faculty's um, experience and reflection on Clue. So for Clue faculty, um, they really liked how their students were getting that uh, real industry experience. So for them, um, you know, internships were a great way uh, for their students to test drive and explore their career possibilities in a, in a safe way. So if students don't like it, um, they can always come back. And if students do like their industry experience, um, that's really great. Um, that's an experience itself. And from faculty's perspective, um, students are learning something, not written in the textbooks, and they all agreed that internship experience allowed students to make connections between theories, methods, and technologies. Oops. And when faculty reflected on how the program could improve, um, they all said that it would be nice to have more industry 
and faculty events uh, where they can learn about each other's expertise and research projects. So just like students, uh, faculty also wanting to establish good relationship uh, where faculty and their students can collaborate on doing cool research projects. So um, I want to take this time again uh, to thank our cool students and partners and faculty uh, for meeting with me last year and giving me their time and being able to squeeze me in between their multiple meetings. And with your help, uh, we now understand better where Ku did a good job, but also where we could have done better. And now we can share this piece of knowledge with other HCI educators and scholars who are creating a similar usability training program. So now I actually want to open up the floor for everyone and just invite everyone in the audience to just share their you know, personal experiences with the program. Um, perhaps you want to share with us um, the things that you're going to miss the most about the program or any other interesting stories that you have, perhaps in your interaction with Audrey and Tamara or anything um, that's relevant to Clue. So I'm just going to stop share the PowerPoint slides. We have this LinkedIn group um, that um, most of you are part of. If, if not, um, join us. We can um, post jobs descriptions if you're looking for, for, for stuff, for just general questions. Like, you know, this is a group where we have our uh, industry governing partners as well as, as students in it. So feel free to, to appropriate it and, and make it active if you want. And I guess that is kind of the end. This is our last uh, Clue event, uh, for better, for worse. Um, I, I really appreciate seeing all of you here. We had um, nice attendance uh, for these three days. And um, I will continue to see you virtually for a while anyway. Um, and I'm sure we'll host seminars um, whenever we have colleagues in town or just remote for, for a while. But um, it's it's please keep in touch and it was great to see all of you here thank you <laughs>